Hey guys, welcome to the next wave of digital video. I'm your host, Tony Alley. Today, I am going to give you a behind the scenes tour of how we transport our camera equipment. Now, like many of you, I started off with just a little sedan, and then I got a, um, a minivan uh, and started moving my gear around in that. Quickly discovered that wasn't ideal. And uh, about a year and a half ago, we upgraded to my ultimate dream, or maybe not ultimate, but definitely a great one, which is this cargo van. This is a Ford E150, and um, we've kitted it out to transport our camera equipment, and it is an amazing asset. I can't tell you how cool it is to go from having just a very basic vehicle that you just dump a bunch of cases into and then pull them all out to having a space that's really dedicated. So let's give you a little bit of a tour of how this is all set up. All right. Well, we are inside here and uh, we've got our Pelican. We got a lot of Pelican 1510 cases. These fit really nicely here. And then we added a little bungee cord system here to hold them all in. So we've got our cameras and lenses, filtration, um, just other accessories over here. These cases over here, I've actually found on Amazon. They're just gun cases. They've got them for super, super cheap. Um, and they fit really nicely in here. So we keep individual things that I might just need to grab one thing of. So like the Odyssey Semi Q, Red Rock Mic Remote, uh, handheld client monitor, stuff like that. We keep our sliders up top here and our porter rail over here. We keep that up top. So super convenient to have um, all this stuff set up and easily accessible. Um, so a lot, you know, little drawers and stuff like that. Some of our bigger cases like for the Ronin and over here, the uh, Kessler shuttle dolly. Those fit nice right along here so I don't have to try and fit them in a small slot like this. And we have all this open space. What do we do with this open space? Well, that is where the camera cart goes. So there are some really nice camera carts that I'd love to get maybe someday, but when I didn't feel like spending two or three grand for a camera cart, we decided to get a Rubbermaid cart. This is a nice one. It was about four or 500 bucks for this thing really really nice you can sit, uh, fit two pelican cases right next to each other to the 1510s and be able to open them up so like for here you can open up the red case and have like the lenses or filtration or something like that right next to it so that's super awesome really great working space and there's even a drawer here we can put some additional accessories screwdrivers stuff like that so there's one other area of the van and that is where we keep our audio. So this is audio now gets its own cart too. It's not as big as the camera cart, but it's got the case for the microphones. And down here we've got like cables and stuff like that. Um, and then we keep tripods. I've got my Westcott Flex LEDs here. So I keep some lights in here. I've got my main uh, camera trailer, our grip trailer that we keep all of our lighting equipment in there, which I'll give you another tour video of that sometime. Um, but yeah, uh, the Tripods readily accessible, easy to grab. Um, we have additional tripods in there if I'm doing more camera setups. And uh, yeah, so we've got dolly in here, we've got gimbal, and we've got camera, and we got sticks. Um, jib and stuff like that I keep in the, uh, the, can the grip trailer. So that's a little tour of this. You know, this was definitely an investment, but I can't tell you how awesome it is to have a really nice camera van. We've worked on location a lot, and being able to just grab stuff out of here, grab the one case instead of having to pull everything out is awesome. Uh, the grip or the other camera cart, we can just lift up and slide right in here. So there are a lot of times where we have to get on location, unload and start shooting really, really quickly. We pull the camera cart out, grab a couple cases, set it up on top of here and we're ready to roll. So that is super awesome. Um, yeah, big asset on set. Probably it's one of those things where you, you hear about gear, you're like, oh, the new lens or the new camera. Well, this thing is definitely not only worth the price, but it's been an awesome thing to have. So if you see behind the scenes photos, you'll probably see the white van in there somewhere. We just got back from a shoot in Northern Wisconsin. We were shooting ginseng, so we were out in the mud and dirt. So it's nice to have that you know, plastic that I can just whitewash off instead of having the carpeting that we had to vacuum every single time, so. All right, oh, and one more thing. I gotta show you this, I'm proud of this. So this is, you might recognize, this is tape light. And tape light is, you know, I, I've got it in my, my theater room, you use it all over the place. Well, tape light is by default 12 volt. So, 
This is the normal dome light that came with the vehicle. We just wired into that. And whenever you open the door, uh, or put the key in the ignition, whatever, uh, this activates with the dome light. And you can see how nice and bright it is in here. Without that tape light, it'd be very, very hard to see. So this is awesome, awesome for being able to work out of any spot in the van and have plenty of light to work with. So hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes tour. Hey, give us a thumbs up, a like if you like it, and we'll see you in the next video.